Good morning. I'm your friend Scotty Ray. Welcome to Scotty Ray's Morning Weather. I hope your day is going well for you so far. It is a Saturday, May the 29th. Uh, no, it's not. It's Saturday, May the 30th. Wow. Tomorrow will be the 31st, and then Monday will roll into June. June 1, right around the corner. It, this year, half of it gone. So what's that put us toward Christmas? Oh, I'm scared to think, but it's coming, isn't it? Uh, continued overnight, if you've been watching this, riots have been breaking out nationwide. They're in Washington, D.C. For a moment there, they locked down the White House last night. Uh, more burnings, and I think they've asked for help there in Minneapolis. It's uh, getting out of hand. What is sad is so many people have lost their jobs to the coronavirus. Things are starting maybe to break up a little bit, be able to go back to work, and then businesses are being burned, and uh, it's going to put more livelihoods uh, out of out of business for a while. So we, we hope something comes of this and it's stopped before too long. Well, as we move into this Saturday, it looks great. Uh, this weekend is going to be the coolest that we have for the next seven days, and then temperatures are going to start to rise once again. As we go to your weather forecast this morning, brought to you by EMEPA, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative, you'll notice, well, there's no rain whatsoever. we got a fog advisory down around Tallahassee, and you got to back out to find the rain way up here in Omaha. Omaha, Nebraska, you don't hear much about those folks up there. Not from the deep south, we don't. But uh, expect today to be a high of 86, tomorrow to be the same sunshine everywhere. As we roll into Monday all the way through next Friday, expect those highs to be in the mid uh, to, to lower 90s. So we'll be hitting 93, 94, 95 next week. A little bit warmer. Night times will start out in the 60s, and then by the end of the week we'll have highs Getting right around 70, 68, 69, somewhere around in there. But uh, it'll be cool at night, great weather for us, but uh, warm during the daytime. It's uh, looking, looking like we're going to have summertime weather before it's all said and done. Now, something that we need to watch, and let's go back over to uh, radar and let me point uh, this out where we are on all this. We move out and we go down here and we look at the Gulf here. There is a possibility, uh, and it's just in the beginning stages, we can't predict where or what, but by next Saturday, something possibly may be forming in the Gulf, making it one of the earliest times we've had something in the Gulf, a, de a depression or a tropical storm by next week. Uh, the Gulf is the favorite area with this, and there's also something that's forming in the eastern Pacific, uh, Pacific rather. but it uh, could start down here. It could either go, there's predictions to where it could go toward uh, Houston area or in Louisiana. At this point, and again, this is way early. I'm just throwing that out there so you can uh, check back, watch this as it all begins. But uh, that's what's going on so far with the chances of a tropical depression or storm forming in the Gulf. It'd be the first thing for us that we've had. Uh, as uh, we look at uh, numbers from yesterday, and we'll, we won't spend a whole lot of time on this, but um, the coronavirus in the state of Mississippi added another 418 cases, 17 deaths, and another 130 uh, cases uh, to long-term care facilities. We're at now 14,790. We're right at 15,000 people uh, that has contracted the coronavirus in the state of Mississippi. So that's that's where all that lies right now. We'll, uh, I'll keep you up to date on that. I want to thank our sponsors that make this happen every day. Hooper's Electronics there on 22nd Avenue. Rick Justice Automotive, Piggly Wiggly of Collinsville, Patrick Allen Storm Ready Shelters, EMEPA, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative, along with Graphics Guru, SMI Automotive, and San Marcos Mexican Restaurant. And as you can tell, Sophie just joined the room. Sophie, what are you doing, girl? She, uh, she's my big dog that likes to come visit every once in a while. She's going to lay down now. She's uh, quite a handful. <laughs> Again, thank you for uh, joining me this morning. I'll be back, and I'll be posting some more about the possible tropical depression that's there in the Gulf. Again, thank you for watching Scotty Ray's Weather. As always, we'll keep you up to date when it turns bad, street by street, right to your doorstep.